Hello Year 3, this video is aimed at supporting you with addition with regrouping. It may be particularly helpful to use for practice 5, which is Wednesday's maths lesson, as questions such as question B require regrouping. You could also use it to remind you of how to use the pictorial method and how to draw pictures to help you if you've been struggling with some of the addition problems in Fluent in 5. That may help us. So, I'm going to write out the calculation, 59 centimetres add 142 centimetres and I, then, I am then going to put it into my formal written method which is column addition. Now as you can see when I've written it into my column addition I have made my numbers quite large to make it easier for me but I've also made it really clear with my columns. Please be careful that when you line your numbers up you don't line them up so they're in different columns. Make sure the ones are in your ones column, the tens are in your tens and your hundreds are in your hundreds column. Now, if this is tricky, we can always use our pictorial methods to support us. So I'm going to draw my number. I'm going to use a large square to represent any hundreds. I'm going to use a stick to represent any tens. And I'm going to use a small little circle for my ones. I'm going to start off by drawing my larger number. So I have my hundreds, tens and ones. And in my hundreds column for 142, I have 100. I have four tens and I have two ones so I have there I've represented 142 I can now begin adding my 59 you always start in the smallest column so I am going to begin by adding nine ones now I've added my nine ones I can calculate my total in my ones column one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I have 11 ones. Now I cannot go greater than the digit nine in my ones column because when I get to 10 ones, 10 ones is the same as one 10. So I need to do some regrouping. I am gonna count out now my ones until I reach my 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I am able to regroup my 10 ones into one 10 because of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ones is one ten. So I've regrouped my ten ones to become one ten. And I can represent that up here by saying I have one one left over and I have one regrouped ten. And I can just put it underneath my answer area. Now I'm gonna add my tens. I have five tens to add. Now he does not count as one of my five tens because he has come from my regrouped ones. So I have to add in further five tens. One, two, three, four, five. Now I've added my further five tens, I can calculate the total of my tens column. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So if I have 10 tens, I have 100. So I can actually regroup all of those into my hundreds column. And there I now have no remaining tens and one regrouped hundred. So I have no remaining tens and one regrouped hundred. My last step is to count my hundreds, one, two, and I have two hundreds. A good way of checking as well is to write the digits into the columns of how many you've got left. So I've got one, one left. I have no hundreds and I have no tens, sorry, and I have two hundreds. So I have the number 201. Remember, if you are struggling when it comes to addition, it doesn't need, you don't have to use this method for just regrouping. You could use it even when regrouping is not required. But always start by drawing your biggest number and then drawing in the added hundreds, tens and ones. Good luck.